Had to play this one minute ago. Hey. Hey. Get up and dance. This is a new little start to stir crazy, y'all. Because it's been a long week. Be it's been a long few months, let's be honest. Come on, y'all. Wow, Welcome to Stir Crazy, y'all. I didn't realize I could whistle so good. Whistle. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Hey, you guys, we got some people on Facebook coming in. We just doing a little dance party so y'all good on in here. Invite your friends. I know y'all can share this. So let your friends know we making one good tonight. This is going to be so good, what we're making. Okay, now we're going to do this. There wasn't a real reason why we did that. We just felt like it. I don't know. <laughs> it's one of those days, Sometimes you know. Sometimes you just roll with it. Hey, don't worry. Hope everybody's don't doing good. Hope everybody's in a good mood. Well, if you aren't in a good mood, then hopefully you are now by watching us awkwardly wiggle around because we can't dance, so. Yeah. <laughs> At all. <laughs> At all. So, how's everybody doing? How we doing? What's going Let's on? read the comments. How's our week been? I love catching up with all of y'all. Y'all telling me what y'all been up to. Oh, we got somebody from Myrtle Beach. Myrtle Beach. We got somebody listening to us from Nash. Uh, listen to you on Nash. Oh, like maybe the radio or something? That's cool. Yeah. Oh, from on, on the New York station, from the thing that today. Yeah. Right. Okay, I'm with it. That's awesome, Don. I hope you liked it. <laughs> that was really cool. All right, so y'all know what it is. This is Stir Crazy. This is my beautiful wife, Anna. We're, there's people who are Stir Crazy, probably we're, along with you guys. <laughs> I'm Nico Moon, and this oh, is... Oh, we're doing like a full intro today. I'm trying to like... I'm Roll trying the to, credits. I'm trying... I'm trying to give like a little uh, Honey, pro I think, professional production quality to I this I mean, thing. we've already got a song to intro us, but I think that you're already missing something up, though. Messing something up. You're not Nico Moon on Stir Crazy. Last Stir huh? Crazy. Last Stir Crazy. Oh. The fans <laughs> voted. You are Nico Sizzle, sir. You are Nico Sizzle. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Since I got a nickname now. Y'all gotta make me up. We we gotta well, make sure was, Anna has a nickname. I think I was um, kind of like they kind of ha had me kind of like uh, Vanna White, but I was like Anna White. I don't know. Could we beat that? We might could beat that. Let's see. Y'all let me. I know. think we can beat it. Give me a cool. Give me a cool name. Let's try to get her off her cooking we got alter Nico ego Sizzle. name. Mine's probably just gonna be like Loud Mouth Anna. Or don't worry. Be like happy. That. Might just be our theme song totally that's to stir a crazy theme song because it just feels good yeah. we might just jam out to it for like a verse from here on out i don't yeah. know because that felt right that did feel really right um let's get into our cooking let's tell well, them what we're making well hold on now <laughs> everybody's still joining in okay, it's, okay, it's okay. only been four minutes oh. let's give everybody like one or two more minutes to get in there and then uh, anna, look at that anna crocker i love that anna crocker <laughs> Y'all gonna make me do my ugly laugh on that. That's when y'all know I think something's really funny is when I cluck, like cluckle like a... Mama sizzle. Mama, Mama sizzle. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Oh my gosh, I've had y'all's tuna ramen casserole twice now. I'm not gonna lie, we had tuna casserole. We had it today. today. <laughs> we had it. We, we made were actually it. just saying like We made the tuna casserole today for lunch. Yeah, we eat it too often. All right, it feels good. It feels good. This feels like a good enough time to say what we're doing, <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, so last week, we did scrambled eggs. And we got real, real, real techie on y'all We guys. got real techie with the with eggs. With our cooking school. I mean, we got heavy, y'all. I mean, we was going into facts. <laughs> facts on facts. Facts on facts on facts. I mean, it was deep. We went deep with the eggs. This week... Comment if any of y'all made the eggs with our tips. That yeah, yeah, yeah. If anybody made, made the eggs the way we, we, we showed y'all last week. This week, we're going... The complete opposite direction. <laughs> We're going. That's what makes it interesting, though. You never know what you're gonna get. You never know what you're gonna get. You never know what you're gonna get. This week we're making something that's just a fun, really just snack that we like to have, and it's this might be the easiest one yet. 
Well, it's funny because there's more ingredients to this. There's four ingredients, yeah. and scrambled eggs was two. Right. But the scrambled eggs are more complicated than this. This is like easy peasy. <laughs> this, you guys, if you've never had it, and I'm being real with you, like let's have a real moment. This is going to change your life. Like when you have that craving at 8 p.m. and you've turned down your lights and you're just chilling in bed, you're going to think of this. And your mouth is going to water and you're going to run to your kitchen and make it. Like, this is how good it is. It's legit. I'm not messing with you guys. It's so good. We're making garlic bread pizza. I was going to go with this. Where are you going with this? <laughs> garlic bread pizza, y'all. So it's, it's like fire. a little, uh, just a little personal pizza. Okay, like so, this is our little garlic toast. So you know Texas toast. Y'all know the type. Texas garlic toast. Right. That's your first ingredient. So we're not making, we're not making so it. So let's be honest. Good. We ain't, we ain't about to be up in here rolling up some doughs. No, but maybe. Hey, maybe we'll get there because we are in cooking school. So yeah, we, we ain't, <laughs> we ain't there no, yet. No, we're not there. And we all, this whole show is all about something you can make max easy. ten yeah. minutes. We want to make like this max easy for ten you guys. minutes. This is a good. This is about. Eight minutes to make this, 10 yeah. minutes max. So, first thing you're gonna need is just a good old thick piece of garlic bread. Yeah. And we were actually talking to one of your friends earlier, and they said that they used to make this with just regular bread. So, you can make it however you want. I would Don't make it with regular like bread. Garlic I would bread. Just do it like this, but hey, if you, you need only the got, garlic for the flavor. Yeah, but if you only got regular bread, you know. Ingredient number two. Which is your. Oh, where is it? Oh, I didn't set it out. My production is slacking today. <laughs> production on set. Sorry, you guys. Party foul. Let me All get right. a spoon. Ingredient number two, pizza sauce. Or not to be not to be confused with marinara or like a pasta sauce. No, no, no. Pizza sauce. Do you know what the difference is? I believe the difference is that marinara, like pasta sauce, has already been cooked. And this is like a raw sauce. Sir, I didn't know you was actually going to have an answer. I thought I was going to stump you. Now, I'm about 85 to 88% sure <laughs> that what I just said is the truth. <laughs> Y'all going to roast me in the comments. I'm not 100% sure of that. So feel free to call me out on my bullshit because that could be wrong. But I'm, Sounds right. I feel sounds about good. that confident that that's right. Good. Like that, I've read that. I feel like I've read that. I read that on the internet. I feel like the interweb told me that. Okay. So, anyways. What, what, show them what else we can use, though. Garlic bread, pizza sauce is second ingredient. Yeah. You're just going down this lane. We'll go to that later. Okay. Fine. Fine. Good. Third ingredient. Cheese. Mozzarella cheese. Shredded mozzarella cheese. Yeah. You can get crazy and do some other cheese, but come on. We're you making, we're making pizza. Best. Mozzarella cheese. Y'all okay. know what time it is. Y'all know us. We ain't fancy, so... Fourth ingredient, pepperoni. And these are low-key huge pepperonis, by the way, but I did order Yo. small ones. I ordered small ones, but... Look at this. The, uh, Look at this pepperoni she got. <laughs> Everybody I've knows. I've never even seen a pepperoni that big. Everybody knows a pepperoni should Yo, be approximately the size of a human areola. Oh so somewhere like that is... Look at this. Oh my gosh! You coming out with facts. This is like Bigfoot's areola. This oh is my God. this is insane <laughs> how big this is. This takes up just for a size comparison. That's a bad Come time. on, man. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> what man. A, what is this? So yeah. we're gonna have to cut this one up because she got like the biggest pepperonis I've ever seen. <laughs> so we're gonna chop ours up, but ideally get like the normal the normal pepperoni. Yeah. And that's it. Garlic bread, pizza sauce, mo shredded mozzarella, pepperoni. Yeah. Ideally, regular and not this gargantuan <laughs> planet. I bet it's good, though. From some other world pepperoni that we have. All right. Here we go. You Wait, are you going to talk about the other way we're going to do it? Or are you just focused no, on No, we get to that later. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's I'm just, just keep it simple. Okay. We're going to show y'all a little, like, alternate... Because, as we all know, <laughs> pizza can be made a million different ways, y'all. So, we're going to make it just that regular guys, old, the regular old pizza that we all know. Open this. What's funny, though, is the other day, we were like, we had actually made this not long ago. 
we were eating it. We were sitting there kind of going over. We were like, oh yeah, like you could do a barbecue chicken one. You could do, we were like pretending like we're making up all these pizzas that like already exist, but we were just thinking about it like on the garlic toast, acting like we were so revolutionary. We were like, yeah, like you could do like a pesto one. And it basically just like all normal pizzas. Yo, okay, pesto, anyways. you can do with some Alfredo and some chicken, you know, a barbecue yeah. one. I mean, let's be honest. You can do whatever you want, a vegetable pizza. We're just going to do a regular old pizza here. So we got the bread, garlic bread. It's already pre-garlic and buttered. It smells so good yeah, already. Yeah, I mean, this is like gold. I can't wait and to And then we're going to put the pizza sauce just right on it. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm so hungry. But, y'all, seriously, pizza sauce, so not good. marinara. Got to get the pizza sauce. Yeah. And as you can see, it don't take, it don't take, I don't want it, it to drip, much. but it don't take much. That's good. Oh. oh, did our thing die? Let me see. You gotta get the charger. No, it went back on. I'll go get a charger while you finish, just in case. I got you guys. Okay, good. so one jar of pizza sauce is gonna last like probably like 20 or 30 garlic breads. You, you just doesn't take much at all. So you only need just to get one little jar. So our lights just went out and is on the way. We got technical difficulties, but iPhones are awesome. Y'all can still see me pretty good. So we're going to keep it moving. She's on it. She's got the charger right now. I got the charger. But All I right. think it's going to, I think we're going to have so to. So that's where you stop right here. Bring it up a little bit. I got you guys. So that's where we stop for now. Oh, snap. All right, hold on. We're going to have to do a different angle. We're going to have to angle y'all differently. But that's okay. You never know what you're going to get. This is a live production. This is a live TV show here. Real professional. Okay. Where we're at. And then that. You want to move that one? I kind of feel like that one's fine, right? No, let's move it. <laughs> okay. The beauty of live TV, people. <laughs> live. Yeah, live Instagram, live Facebook. You know what? What are y'all doing? Y'all aren't judging us. We're just all friends hanging out on a Friday night. Things happen. But hey, the good news is we're about to have... Some garlic, pizza, toast, bread, and it's gonna be fire. So things are still looking good for us tonight. Okay, we're moving, we're good. Oh, All right, let's make sure we got the same. Shot. Same angle. <laughs> okay. All right, cool. All right, here we go, back to it. So what you wanna do is just Back put, at it again. Back at it again with the garlic toast pizza. <laughs> so garlic toast. Pizza sauce, put it in the oven. Yeah. Wait, are we going to do this other one or no? 425. Are you just doing this one? Yeah, uh, I was going to let you do the other one. She's okay, going to do the other one. I got to put it in there at the same time with that one, right? Oh, yeah, we can do it. So what we're going to do, <laughs> just to show y'all a different option, yeah. is we're going to put pesto. Because I want this one, so I'm being very persistent yeah, on it. Yeah, she's being persistent. She likes the pesto, so... And it's gonna put pesto on the other piece of garlic toast we got also, for another option. Can we talk about how this new angle isn't near as flattering for a sister over here? Because, you know, but right. y'all still love me. I hope. All right, so put the pesto on. <laughs> you wanna have it at 425. Okay. And then this cooks okay. real fast, y'all. So we're only gonna cook it for four minutes. Going in. Don't put the cheese on. How yet. long? Four minutes? Yeah, well, four minute, correction, correction. Four minutes because our oven is a convection oven. If you got um, just like a regular style oven, five minutes. So it's like one minute shorter for us because we got like the air flowing all around the place or whatever. Five minutes for a typical oven. Comment below if you're a clean as you go type person. That's why I'm trying to She's do. clean, she's definitely a clean as she goes type of individual. Sometimes when I'm on, on my P's and Q's. Okay, right. so for the pesto one, can we tell them, because I want to chop these up for when that's time. So for the pesto one, she's just going to put some little pieces of sliced tomato. Yeah. And then for mine, the regular one, I'm just going to put cheese and pepperoni on it. Yeah. You want to put cheese on yours? Oh, yes. Yeah. She's going to put cheese on hers, too. You already know what So mine's just regular, a regular pizza style. Mine's, mine's a bit more fancy, because I'm a fancy Everybody's guy. saying they, clean as, they like to clean as they cook. I do, like, I don't always do that. I like to, I would like to say that I do, but I don't. Sometimes I get done cooking and it's crazy. So, you know. 
Smith said, what were we cooking in the first Please, place? <laughs> Garlic toast pizza <laughs> is what we're making. <laughs> He's like, what are we even doing here? We don't know. What? Who? Are you? And me? Are you? What are we doing right now? Yeah, we don't know. We're making garlic toast pizza, y'all. <laughs> so, garlic toast, pizza sauce, cheese, shredded cheese, mozzarella, pepperoni. Done. Four ingredients, 10 minutes. Change your life. Boom. It's like, it, I like it better than regular pizza. Wait, what'd Randy say? I tell Jordan if the kitchen isn't a mess, it doesn't taste good. Doesn't oh, taste good. that's true though, because you know if you're like in the zone, that's like a, you some don't grandma saying right there. You don't have time to put stuff up when you're just whipping it up. That was me whipping it up, by the way. Randy, come in with the facts. Facts. All right, so so um, you want to wait on the cheese and the pepperoni uh, until after you bring it out after four minutes. You want to put the cheese and pepperoni on, then you want to stick it back in for another four minutes, and then you're done. So, but you want to let it let it chill for like two minutes because you'll burn your mouth. It'll be a little too hot, and that's it. It's like a it's like a mini deep dish pizza. But I don't know. I've been to Chicago a bunch, and like don't say don't say it's better. I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it's better. No, but, those are fighting words. You can't. I know. You can't say. You can't somebody say from that. Chicago's gonna be like, "What are no. you saying?" Yeah, don't say that. Don't say I'm that. not gonna say it's better, but I will say you would be very. You're just gonna be really surprised You'd at how good and how good it is. That's like, a good way to this say. This is it. legit. I love it. So if you don't have like a a pizza in your house, but you want to make some pizza real quick, you ain't trying to call Domino's and wait like okay, an wait. hour. I don't know why. Eight minutes, boom. I was cutting up the huge pepperoni that I have, and somehow they just ended up being like little mini pizzas. And I don't I didn't even realize that I was doing that, but like how cute is this? <laughs> just a random fact. I don't know. That was not like to help you guys in any way, just I thought it was cute. Alright. So let's take some questions, yeah? What do y'all wanna know today? Do we got any questions? I didn't I don't know if we sorted out any questions. I think we just wanna roll with the punches. As always, y'all know during the cooking time we like to answer any questions y'all wanna throw our way. We like to just do it off the cuff. This is my favorite. Julie says, I cook, Chris cleans my mess. <laughs> yes. Ooh, about your tattoos. I feel you, Julie. <laughs> talk about some tattoos, sir. Tattoos. Um, I feel like, talk about one of these, because these are like really cool. And I feel like okay. they're like, so, you don't know what they are. I'll tell y'all about this one, okay? So, this one right here is a Viking tattoo. And. I did Ancestry.com. I did my like DNA test with Ancestry about... And he's 100% that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. We did the test. I did the test like three, three or four years ago. By the way, you guys, I'm putting on this cheese, but he's going to keep talking. So it's been four minutes. It's time to put on the cheese and the pepperoni. And then we're going to stick it back in the oven for another four minutes. Five minutes if you got a regular oven. And that's it. We're done. Back to the tattoo. So I did Ancestry.com and found out that I am part Scandinavian, which I had no idea about. On, My family, we had we had no idea that we had. I wish I had something. Any Scandinavian in us? I had a cracker. Until we did Ancestry.com, so I just thought that was, that was really cool that I was part Scandinavian, so I thought I'd get a Viking tattoo. So I was kind of looking around at like old Viking stuff and I ran across this symbol and the symbol, this is how you pronounce it, it's called Veg Vasir. And long story short, basically what it is, is it's a good luck charm. It's a, it's a good luck charm if you travel a lot. So Viking warriors, when they would go on conquest, they would get it tattooed right on their forehead. And they, I honestly think you should have done that. <laughs> she said I should have got it here. I didn't have the guts to put it on my forehead, but they would get it tattooed on their forehead. Nico Malone. <laughs> <laughs> and they believe that it would protect them and keep them safe and bring them home safe to their family. Because when they would go on these long conquests, it ain't like this is Viking times. They didn't even have like compasses back then. They didn't then. have GPS. They didn't have that GPS, y'all. So the odds of, of even, even if they did survive, the odds of like making it back home was like kind of slim. Right. So 
they took that real serious. So they were they they had this good luck charm right there. So they look at it almost like as like a like a compass, but not a not an actual compass, but like mm -hmm. a, a spiritual compass to get you back home to the people that you love. Obviously, I travel a lot uh, for music, so I really like the idea of it. I thought it was cool having this like good luck charm compass that always can lead you back home to what's important to you. So that's why I got it. It was a little like a, just a little cool nod to finding out uh, this like part of uh, my bloodline, my culture that uh, that I didn't even know I was a part of. And then I, I like kind of like mix it into my life with this particular symbol since I like to travel a lot and do music. So there is my one tattoo. <laughs> I may pick like one every week to talk about, but that's the one for this week, y'all. Y'all have any other good questions for us? Any other types of questions? Let's see. Melissa says, how many tattoos do you have? A lot. I really don't even know. Samil says, body part you're most proud of. Ooh. Ugh. None. I'm not proud. I'm not proud of nothing. <laughs> I mean, uh. I would say you have such a just great face. I love it. His smile. I mean, I feel pretty good about. What do you think mine is? I feel pretty good about my I'm elbows. Gonna on, I'm going to put them on the spot. What's I got mine? decent elbows. What's mine? You're. <laughs> she, <laughs> she, she looked at me. She goes, what's mine? <laughs> I did that face. You know, all us girls have that face we do in the mirror. We're like, you got like that real serious moment. Seriously, what's my, my favorite part is your eyes. Oh, thanks. Baby. Windows to the souls, y'all. Them my eyes. Very very get very you. Very sweet, baby. With a quickness. Chris says, Nico, sizzle, what we cooking? We are cooking garlic bread pizza, y'all. So it's actually almost done. We're like one or two minutes away from it being done. Two minutes. Two minutes away from it being done. Actually, the best dinner of your life. Uh, Storm says, what about personality? What does that mean? Like, well, what's your favorite per personality trait? She is, oh. she is. Come on. I know, I'm just trying to think, what's, my, fa what's my favorite? Go. What's my favorite? What is it? She's super uh, loyal. Like the okay. most, the okay. most, the most loyal person you would ever want to meet in your life. So if, I would actually if say, you're if you're close to her, she's she's got your back. I got your back. To the end. I would actually say the same thing about you. I know that's kind of like a cop, but I think that that's one thing about you that I love so much is um you're extremely loyal. So I love that. Oscar says I want to book you for my wife's birthday party. <laughs> Well, happy birthday to your wife. Happy birthday. <laughs> My man. <laughs> uh, see, see, see. What are you guys having for dinner tonight? Comment what y'all are having. We love always seeing what you guys are having. Said, uh, Vegas says, where'd you get those Carol Baskin boots? <laughs> I saw some people wondering if they were mine. These are those are my boots, boots y'all. I got this leopard boots. This man has swag for real. Don't doubt a leopard boot moment. The leopard boot, y'all. Sometimes you just put on throw on some jeans and a white t-shirt and some leopard boots, and it's go time. Okay. That's all you need. You know what else is go time? Just right here. I'm gonna let these cool, so we're gonna continue talking. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What? All right, we'll let them cool before this we show so it. We, we we show it to you full on. Yeah. But they're done. That took it, it took us eight minutes to cook these we things. We didn't do anything. And they're crazy. And you can make like, you know, two or three Ooh, a, a person. Hawaiian salad barbecue shredded chicken sandwich. Fire! That yeah. sounds so good. <laughs> oh my gosh. What are some ways that y'all would personalize this idea that we've shown oh, y'all today? That's a good question. What are some ways that you would make your garlic? Bread pizza. pizza. Like, what would your flavor be? Ooh, Julie made a grilled cheese, Nico Sizzle style. Yeah, all right, Julie. Daryl made your tuna Lori, casserole. Lori made my eggs. Dang, y'all. Ooh, we got well, one person to make it uh, with meatballs. Ooh, that sounds so good. Plant based meatballs. What's your favorite plant based brand? Meatball, we, meatballs is a good idea. I see some people yeah. saying a breakfast version, and that's kind of a cool idea. Ooh. Maybe with some egg and some like ham or something. Ooh. Or some sausage and egg. 
It's different. I like that. I'm here for it. Sausage and peppers, sausage and provolone. Ooh, I'd add some jalapenos. Yes. And also, you guys, Ooh. what about Ham a little... Ham and pineapple, a little Hawaiian situation. What about a little ranch to dip it in? Ooh, yes buffalo no? chicken. Buffalo chicken with some ranch. Woo! A little ranch. These are great ideas, y'all. Is ranch a southern thing? Uh, I don't think so. I is think. ranch like an everybody thing, or is that like... I but... think everybody likes ranch. I don't know. I mean, not everybody, but almost, in... almost everybody. I don't know if they have it in Europe. I don't think they have ranch in Europe. I could be wrong. Comment if I'm wrong. A lot of people feeling the idea for, for throwing some... Some spice, some, some a little jalapeno spice. You do like some red pepper flakes would be good. I don't want this to stop after quarantine. I was about to say, <laughs> we don't have either. I don't know. So Lori says, I don't want the stir crazies to stop after quarantine. Don't worry, we're going we're gonna to keep it going until we're on the road and, and we, we, we are in our kitchen be able to do it. <laughs> yeah, and even once you're on the road, like maybe we can figure out a different type of live thing that we can do because it's been so fun. Kate says, ranch on pizza always. You know, I like ranch with my pizza too. Sometimes different. Ranch with pizza is the ticket. It that's ain't like, just the wings. That I'm with you on hidden. that. Yeah, look. Uh, she said, no ranch in Europe. There's I no ranch learn. in Europe. Y'all, we got to get ranch in Europe. But she's talking about Sign Europe. Sign a petition. petition. I well, almost said petition. Sign a petition. She said a Southern thing. No, no. it's Amer I think it's American thing. American thing. Yeah, American thing. All right, well. I was right on the part that it wasn't in Europe, so you win some. All right, let's potato. check on these pieces now. You win some, you lose some. Potato, potato. Okay, let's see. Come on. Come on. Come on, y'all. <laughs> Look at my cute little triangles that I cut. And here's hers. Got a little pesto and tomato situation. I don't situation. know why you said that was just mine. I'm going to definitely be having a little bit of both, you know what I'm saying? I have a little cut in the middle. So they need about a minute or two. This angle, by the way, thanks for sticking with. Not the cutest angle on, a, on, on me right now, but, you know, you win some, you lose some. She'll live. <laughs> I might make it through. We'll see. Okay. I just eat the, Chad says, I just eat the crust with ranch. I feel that. Ooh, that's good. Pizza slices on the pizza. I know, Chad. It's pretty revolutionary. My little pizza pepperonis. Selena says, ranch is not my thing unless there are cowboys involved. What does that mean? A oh, like a cowboys ranch? on the ranch. Oh, you trying to be funny? I like it. You coming out with a Selena got zinger. jokes. She got jokes. She coming out with a joke. I love it. That's funny. Um, Should we do our thing? What thing? The thing? Uh, the thing that we always do at the end? No, let's eat the pizza. Well, well we gonna we gonna do so that, hot. but hold on, it's, it's just almost so hot. done. Okay, we gonna talk for about one more minute, and then we gonna take a bite. I'm gonna of this need pizza. a Coke Zero. I'm gonna go get me one. I got my drink right here, y'all. My Yeti. Comment below right. if you're a Coke Zero, Diet Coke, Coke, No Coke. What's your vibe? No, I don't. I don't drink. Uh, I don't drink Coke. You don't drink soda, really. I don't drink soda, but uh, she swears. That this, uh, is it zero? Coke Zero is definitely She says that Coke Zero Coke. is like the closest you can get to regular Coke. So what happened was that was actually, when we were doing keto, I started drinking Coke Zero. And we're not doing keto anymore, but um, now work. I've just been kind of addicted to it, which they say that you get addicted to it. But I get these mini cans, so, you know. She says it's closer to real Coke than all the other. I'm going to take off my, my bib. Pepsi. We got some Pepsi folks up in here. Spez. What's a Spez? <laughs> I think it's like a, yeah, it's like a, yeah, it's like a, it's like a kind of a soda. I haven't, I haven't seen a Spez in, for, in a minute. Unsweet tea. I actually got me some Lipton today in the, in the, in my, in my Instacart. I made me some sweet tea tomorrow. We got a lot of classic Coke. Don't uh, worry, Austin. Austin Lindsay wants us to do a duet. We do a duet. Every time at the end of yeah, the Yeah, we're going to do a duet. We got you. Let's take a bite of this pizza first. Okay, we're going to have a bite of the pizza. I'm so excited for the pizza. You take a bite first. Oh. Do I want to cut it? I think I... You cut it? Nah. I'm a real, I'm a real thug up in here. We're going to do it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, my God. It's so good. Mmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is it hot? Is it too hot? Mm -mm. It was smoking. It was good. Okay. Woo! Mmm. Oh, it's so good. You know something's good when you do the dance. When yeah. You, when you start dancing, yeah. that's when you know it's good. I really hope y'all make this. And go crazy. Send us some suggestions too on how you customize it because 
I think there's a lot of really cool little renditions to it that would be really good. I'm gonna try the pesto one. Speaking of sending in y'all's ideas on how y'all would put your own twist to it, we decided that this next week we want to do. What did I just eat? We want to do one of y'all's recipes next week. Mm -hmm. We've done this once before. We're gonna do it again next Friday. So DM, mm. DM me. It has to be under a ten minute. Be able to make it in ten minutes. And four ingredients or less. Yeah, not too hard, because we want to talk to you guys. Gotta be easy and delicious. If you got a great idea, send it in. We're gonna do one mm. of y'all's recipes next week, y'all. Oh, I lost a tomato. Mm, mm, mm. Did you step on it? Oh, it's right here. Mm. Oh. I can eat this every day. Let me have some more of that one, too. Try the pesto one. No, I'm good, I like this one. I know what I like. I like my mm. all. Oh my god. That all American pizza, or all Italian pizza, I guess. So good. <laughs> Kate said that's making me so hungry. Honestly, you guys, I wasn't even that hungry before we started this. These are so legit. So, for mm. those of y'all just joining who didn't see how we made this, I'm gonna say it real quick in like 30 seconds. Four ingredients garlic bread, pizza sauce, shredded mozzarella cheese, pepperonis. Put the pizza sauce on the garlic bread, put it in the oven at 425 for five minutes in a regular oven. Take it out, put on the cheese, put on the pepperoni, stick it back in for another five minutes. 10 minutes total, and that's it. Take it out, let it sit for a couple minutes. And I put this up against, I put this up against any kind of like fast pizza that you get, like Papa John's, Domino's, any of that type of stuff. Like this is like. I'm telling y'all, just try it. You know You'll what see. else is really good with Texas toast that they do here in Nashville? This is a little bit of diversion, but like not really. Have you ever had one of the uh, hot, like the buffalo hot chicken sandwiches like in between two pieces of Texas toast? Have you ever had that? Mm-hmm. Fire. Dip that baby in some ranch. Y'all know where I'm going. All right, y'all know what time it is. It's time. We made the food. A song for you. We've answered the questions. <laughs> We've done the dance. We've been to the mountain. <laughs> We've crossed the river. Yes. And now We're it's time sing. to sing the song. Yeah. So follow us over I to that the other side of the island. This song. I'm, I'm glad I'm tonight, you guys. Hopefully we won't burp. Usually I get nice and cute, but I'm in my pajamas because I knew we were going to be making this meal. And I was like, I can't be in jeans and eat this. So I'm in my Lulu's. Not the y'all Follow me, follow me, okay, follow me, y'all. I gotcha. All right. Let's go sing the song. Is that oh. where you're putting that? Well, it's, it can only go that far. Oh. We're real high tech here. Boom. Y'all know how we roll. You know how we roll. Okay. Gosh, these angles. Or not the best. You get a little hair flip moment. Okay. Should we do the do the lights or just keep it this vibe? Uh, yeah. We gonna shock you. All right, three, two, one. Oh yeah. Okay, you can tell who picked this colored scheme. It was me. <laughs> In the pink house now. <laughs> so cool though. Okay. Are you standing? I don't know. I feel I might stand this time. <laughs> okay. All right. So, as y'all know, we always like to do a song. And tonight, I thought it'd be fun to do Last Call. This is a newbie. It is unreleased. But I want to play it for y'all tonight. And I'm going to have my beautiful wife sing harmonies with me on it. Let me know what you think. All right. Take it to the harm farm. Let's do it. Girl, I'm buzzing like a neon light. Shooting doubles. It's been a hell of a night. Yeah, I'm feeling all right. Spur your love. It's too damn good for a shot. Real 
woman, baby, put on the rights. Girl, I'll take what you got. Yeah, I spill more than most people drink. Wake up and don't remember a thing. The band is playing their last song. While all the lights are coming on. Yeah, if lovers are like alcohol. Girl, you're my last call. See, I've had southern comfort, even at sex on the beach. But all them mothers, they don't do it for me. Cause, girl, you're just what I need. That's right. Sweeter than the finest wine, smoother than a whiskey rock, stronger than that moonshine, baby. Drinking and I could tell Never going back to well Girl, you got that top shelf Baby Yeah, I spill more than most people drink Wake up and don't remember a thing The band is playing their last song While all the lights are coming on Yeah, if lovers are like alcohol Girl, you're my last call Finest wine, smoother than a whiskey rice, stronger than that moonshine, baby. I'm drinking and I can tell, never going back to well. Girl, you got that top shelf, baby. Yeah, I spill more than most people drink. Wake up and don't remember a thing. The band is playing their last song. Wow. If lovers are like alcohol, you know if lovers are like alcohol. Yeah, if lovers are like alcohol, girl, you're my last call. <laughs> last call! <laughs> I hope y'all had as much fun as we clearly just did. Yeah. <laughs> We're like jumping around. <laughs> I, usually, I usually like to sit down, but you can't sit down on that one. You got to get up. Get to it. Have some fun. Yeah. So, uh, as always, y'all, thanks for hanging out with us. We hope you enjoyed how us uh, showing you how to make a uh, garlic pizza toast. bread pizza. Garlic pizza toast. That's garlic another way of saying toast. it. You can call it whatever you want, but it's delicious either way oh, yeah. it goes. So, hope you have fun, y'all. As always, uh, thank you for hanging out with us. Can't wait to see y'all on Monday. And... <laughs> A little fun thing I'm going to be doing Monday. I usually... What are you doing Monday? So here's what I'm going to do Monday, y'all. I'm going to do all unreleased songs. Ooh. Every song is going to be unreleased. No songs that are out. That's going to be cool. So hit me up. Yeah, let's say comment your favorite unreleased yeah. songs. I was about to say comment your favorite unreleased songs. And the most unreleased songs that get love, those are the ones I'm going to play. But it's going to be all unreleased on Monday, y'all. Thank y'all for supporting us. Thank you for hanging out with us. We hope you had a good time. No pun intended. We definitely <laughs> a did A little too. pun intended. A little bit. Why not? We had a blast. And we'll see you soon. We'll see you on Monday, okay? Peace! Peace! <laughs> Peace. <laughs>